Good morning everyone. We've just left Trinidad. We're on our way to a place called Cien Fuegos. I think it's about like an hour from Trinidad. Pretty nice this area. I'm not even sure where we are right now. You can see we've got this like little beach here that joins with a river in the background. Looks pretty beautiful. And we're heading there once again in a taxi colectivo. For us it was $10 each to get there. I know they charge the other tourists I think $15 each but yeah you can haggle the price so yeah we got $10 knocked off overall so pretty good. So yeah we're just gonna head there now and in this video we're gonna be exploring Cien Fuegos. So here is the taxi that we're in, really cool. So we've arrived in Cien Fuegos. Right now we're in our Casa Particular, which is the guest house where we're staying. And I'll just give you a quick tour. I haven't given you a proper tour or explained how this thing works properly yet. So yeah, I'll just show you around quickly. So it's just very simple. Here we have like a single bed and a double bed, our bed here. They always seem to come with a fan and AC so far. So that is very much needed, very hot right now. In here we just have a simple little bathroom, not too bad. And over here we have like a kitchen, dining table area. So this one is a bit different than the two that we stayed in before. Before we were actually in like somebody's house with them and we just had like a room in their house. Whereas this is just um, all to ourselves, there is nobody here. So all this kitchen space and stuff like that is all ours, like a private place. And this was only $11 which is crazy so it's the cheapest one we stayed in and that's pretty much the price of like places in Southeast Asia so for two people $11, $11 for the both of us um, yeah I just really didn't expect things to be this cheap here I just want to explain to you the the internet situation here quickly so a lot of the places say that they have Wi-Fi but it doesn't actually mean you're going to be able to come here and just start using Wi-Fi Cuba has this system with these like Wi-Fi cards so each card costs one dollar and you get one hour of internet use and I think up to two people can use them at the at the same time. The company is called Etexa so if you go to their buildings you can buy it for one dollar but then if you buy it from people in the street or in the guest house and stuff they usually charge a bit more because they've gone and bought it and yeah they're selling it on so when they say they have Wi-Fi, they actually just have a Wi-Fi access point so that you can use these. And that's the same in restaurants and stuff. Some restaurants actually have like proper Wi-Fi where you don't need the card, but a lot of restaurants only have the Wi-Fi access points. Pretty much all like the squares and parks always have these Wi-Fi access points. So you'll always see like the gringos or even the locals there on their phones or laptops because that's like the only place they can access uh, internet. So that's been one of the major like different things here in Cuba that I've never really experienced anywhere else so yeah just take note of that because everywhere around Cuba it's like that. I'll just show you how it is outside quickly. So we seem to be right next to this square here, pretty big square and you can see the architecture is pretty similar to the other places we've been in Cuba. Got some pretty raw looking buildings down there. So that is just a quick tour and explanation of how things are around here and I think right now we're just going to rest a bit and then we'll be heading out. So we come to that square that was near the place where we're staying. Really huge square, there's loads of like impressive buildings here. I don't even know the name of the square because I don't have internet, but so many impressive buildings. So you can see here, it looks like we have some sort of government building, I imagine. And then just everywhere, just beautiful, colorful buildings. Got the Iglesia over there. So we 
just hopped on one of these taxi bike things for one dollar and he's gonna take us to some restaurant with a nice view because we're both very hungry. Weather kind of looks like it's gonna rain pretty soon. Not looking good. In the, the bay here, can't really see it right now. I'll show you it in a bit. There you go, there's a better view. Not much to see, seems to have some sort of port here. And in the background, you can see the square that was all those big fancy buildings. And check this out here we have a uh, Cuba's homemade version of Coca Cola, Fiesta Cola, made in Cuba. It's pretty good though, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah. Foods arrived, rice with black beans, and we both got this fish with like uh, cheese on top, olives, some vegetables here, and it comes with these starters as well. And I think we get dessert, right? And this was all just $10.50. Not bad, right, for all the food you get. Yeah, awesome. Now come to a place called the Malecon, the boardwalk. It was raining before for quite a while, so yeah, we had to wait a bit, but I think the weather's opened up for good now. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. We haven't really seen that many tourists here. Everywhere is kind of like deserted, pretty empty. Seems like a really big place. It seems to be a bit more modern, I guess, than other places that we've been. Obviously, there's still loads of historical buildings, but yeah, I don't know. Just seems to be a bit more of a bigger town with more things going on. You can see a lot of people going to like school and working and things like that. I think later on we're going to be checking out some of the beaches here. Not that close to where we are now, we've got to get some form of transport there. Not really sure how to get there yet, but yeah, it's just too hot, so should be heading there soon. Now approaching the end of the boardwalk, it's a place called La Punta. Everything that I've shown so far in Cuba kind of seems a bit poor and run down, right? But over here it's more like modern, fancier buildings, I guess. And there was even like a mansion back there that looked like some sort of Moorish mansion. Kind of like what we would see in Spain. Yeah, that was quite interesting, didn't expect that. You do get areas like that here. We just hadn't seen it so far. So it is the next day now, we've just come to a beach called Playa Rancho Luna. The taxi here I think cost, uh, the taxi here cost us $10, it was about 30 minutes to get here so yeah, not, not that close really. Uh, beach is kind of disappointing at the moment, it's really dirty here, there's just trash everywhere on the sand. Seems to be more like a local beach I think, loads of locals here already and it's only like uh, 8.30. So yeah, really early and already quite busy. The water looks great though, but yeah, not as good as that last beach we went to, Playa Ancon. That one was uh, much better. But yeah, we're gonna be spending like the next three hours here, so we'll see how it is. The sun's still coming out. We just got ourselves some little fish sandwiches here, and that was 50 cents each. So yeah, pretty cheap. What do you think of the beach, Carol? The water 
water is nice, but the, the sand is dirty. Yeah, but the water is great, right? Yeah, way better. From here, the beach actually looks pretty beautiful, though, with all the the palm trees and stuff. I'm actually surprised there's so many locals here because it's a uh, Tuesday. <laughs> Don't know what the work schedule is here. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty packed with um, locals. And I don't know if you noticed in the other videos, but um, everybody here pretty much covers up for the beach. So yeah, you see everybody in like hoodies and stuff, even though it's really hot. Even in the streets here, you always see people like in hoodies, even when it's boiling. I don't know how they handle it, but just interesting. center of Cienfuegos again we just come to some cool restaurant here we're on like the second floor of the boulevard I'll just show you right now just goes on and on down there and on the other side as well back there is the square where we're staying and yeah you can just see the buildings here look awesome check this out in front of us looks beautiful looks pretty fancy as well check this out inside And this place serves real Coca-Cola, one dollar. The food is surprisingly cheap here as well. I got the grilled fish again, but seven dollars fifty. And Carol got like a pasta with oil and garlic, just for four dollars and fifty. So yeah, I didn't expect that in a place like this. So pretty good deal. didn't really do anything after eating at the boulevard there was like a bit of a tropical rainstorm uh, we had been expecting that from the from the weather forecast so yeah that didn't allow us to do much but yeah I think I've already covered quite a bit of this place in this video anyway and tomorrow we're going to be heading up north to a place called Baradero it's like one of the really popular touristy areas mainly because it has some amazing beaches apparently I think some of the best beaches here in Cuba and even the Caribbean from what I've read. So that's why we're going to be heading there. So yeah, that's what the next video will be. It all depends on the weather really. I don't know if it's just going to be thunderstorms now going forward. But if there is moments of sun, I'll definitely film something, that's for sure. So just thanks for watching as always. Drop a like on the video to help support me. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.